Hey there, welcome back. Well, today we're going to be having a look at the indoor air quality sensor from Air Gradient. About a year ago, I reviewed their outdoor sensor and recently they reached out and offered to send me the indoor sensor. This is not a sponsored video and they have no control over what I'm about to say. So as our homes become more and more airtight in the pursuit of better energy efficiency, we're starting to see more and more problems with indoor air quality. This is caused by things like moisture building up, which results in mold. We also have more and more volatile organic compounds in our house with all the new modern furniture and finishes that we're installing. Often we've got pets around the home and things like CO2 can really build up at night, which can cause a really bad night's sleep. Now, in order to manage these contaminants, we need to be able to measure them. There are lots of different sensors available on the market. The problem is that many of them are completely cloud-based and they don't offer us a local connection in order to store our own data. I'll leave a link in the description below for the outdoor air quality sensor review. Today we're having a look at the indoor air quality sensor. Now one of the things that I really like about the sensor is this clear OLED display which gives you an instant readout of exactly what's going on without having to pull out your phone and check the app. It also has these 11 LEDs which offer a color readout telling you already if you've got any sort of issue with your air quality. The indoor air quality is selling for 230 US dollars or $138 if you buy the kit version. Now this has got a range of sensors built into it. First of all we have CO2, particulate monitors, VOCs and an ENOX. It runs on an ESP32 C3 mini microcontroller. And the beauty about this is that you can flash this with ESP home software if you'd prefer. It operates on Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz only and the OLED display is 1.3 inches across. The CO2 module is either the Sense Air S8 or S88. Particulate monitor uses the Plantower PMS5003. For temperature and humidity, we have the Sensirian SHT40. The VOC and NOx module is the Sensirian SGP41. If you've bought the kit version, you'll see that they have really clear instructions, including an eight minute video showing you exactly how to put it together. They also offer all the files showing exactly which components are used, and you can even download and print yourself the 3D case. The case is a nice injected molded version, and it has these removable feet on the underside. Taking a close look at the display, it doesn't flicker like this in real life, that's just the camera refreshing. As you can see, you've got everything on the display here, temperature, humidity, CO2, the particulate, as well as Vox and NOx. At the top of the case, we've got these 11 color LEDs, which will display when the air quality is not perfect. As you can see, when I simulate poor air quality, it turns from orange to red, and then it will even go to purple, and it starts changing to purple and red as the conditions worsen. Now this unit can be run completely offline as a standalone device if you don't want to connect it to the internet. They've been clever when designing this device to make sure that the temperature and humidity sensors are right at the bottom of the case so that they're not affected by the heat of the rest of the components within the system. On the rear of the case, we have the USB-C connector which plugs in here and as you can see, it can be nicely routed around to the underside or the top side of the case. We also have some wall mounting options as well as our QR code for adding the device. In order to connect the device, you scan the QR code on the back, press the join air gradient button. Next, you select configure the Wi-Fi, select your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network, insert your password, so we go along to Home Assistant and here you can see it's ready to add it in. We click the Add button, Submit, select our area. I'm going to put it in the kitchen. There we have our device now. We have CO2, humidity, nitrogen oxide, PMO3, PM1, 2.5, 10, temperature and VOCs. I'm really blown away by the level of integration with Home Assistant. We can calibrate the CO2 sensor by placing the device outdoors, 
pressing this button and then we'll record a baseline for CO2 measurement to make it more accurate. We can also adjust the number of days for the automatic baseline duration. Um, we can configure whether we want local or cloud connection. We can also adjust our brightness of both our display and our LED bar. We can select which uh, standards we want to display. We can also select what you want the LED bar to display. So it can either display irregular particulate matter or high CO2 levels. Finally, we have some more sensors that are not enabled out of the box, such as signal strength, LED bar mode, for example. We can just go into any of these, enable them. They take 30 seconds and then they become available. There's also a dashboard available. So if you link this up with the Air Gradient Cloud, you can see, for example, your stats. So we can go in here and we can view our different sensors over time. And we have access to all the different sensors over here. Air Gradient seems to be a real specialist in this field and this is all they focus on. I was quite interested to see that they'd been awarded the best and most accurate sensor under 500 euros, which is pretty impressive for a product that is selling at $200. Unfortunately, I didn't have a way to test the accuracy of this device, but I did try a basic smoke test. Exposing the sensor to some smoke, I counted the number of seconds that it responded, and as you can see, it was almost immediate. So in summary, this device seems to be a really good quality accurate sensor at a reasonable amount of money. It's completely integrated into Home Assistant with a high number of entities available to you. You can also flash it with ESP Home if you want to have total control. But for me personally, I found that the Air Gradient software worked absolutely amazingly. Please let me know if you're using any air quality sensors and what your thoughts are about the air quality measurement and what your sort of results you're getting in your house. Also, I'm really interested to hear what sort of things you are doing to improve your indoor air quality. I've personally installed a heat recovery ventilation system and this has been amazing. I reduced the CO2 in my bedroom from close to 2000 at night to below 1000. I'll leave a link in the description showing you that system that I've installed. Anyway, that's all for now. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.